Okay, so I'm about to do a test run of my new machine. You see we have two batteries, 12 volt, and then a wheel with magnets all around it, and then a coil which goes into the circuitry which will then hook up to the battery. So I'm going to show you what the um, voltage of the batteries are at the moment. Okay. So the primary battery, which we will draw power from, is at 12.73 slash 4 volts. And then the charging battery, which we will charge with the machine, is at 8.47 slash 6. So I just pulled a bunch of energy out of this battery with a little light, just like so. And that took a little bit out of it as well. So now we're at, it usually goes back up after I do that. So we're, we're going to say 8.35 again. See how it's going back up? We'll watch it for a second. Okay, so about 8.3. So then, let me see if you can see this. I'm going to hook up the machine. So primary battery first, positive, and then negative. Charging battery second, negative then positive. Okay. And then I'm just going to push the wheel. And hopefully it'll start to kick up a little bit. Notice I didn't press it very hard or push it very hard. And it's starting to pick up some speed now. See how fast that is? Now I can change how fast it goes by adjusting this little potentiometer here, but I have it set at a good speed right now, so I don't want to touch it. But it's getting up there in speed now. You see how it's kind of moving the, the base. I need to fix that. But it would have run out by now. It only had a, a spin time without the coil of about two and a half minutes. So it would have been slowed down a little bit and also um, probably close to stop by now if it was on its own and we are now at one and a half minutes and it's still going so what I'm going to do is actually stop this let it run for about 20 minutes take it off and then let it sit for about 10 minutes so the batteries have a chance to level out because they tend to fluctuate when you first take off the, the machine. And then I'll come back and measure the batteries for you so you can get an idea of what it's doing. Okay.